Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayel. I bring you greetings of the forgiving love of Jesus Christ. That is the absolutely amazing truth. Jesus loves us, therefore he forgives us. Not only the forgiveness of the past, forgiveness for the future. He gives us the gift of forgiveness and eternal salvation, eternal life. Oh, sisters and brothers, how great it is <coughs> for, pardon me, for us to greet one another in the forgiving love of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have been meditating about how to be Christians. Today, I invite you to meditate on Romans chapter 2, verse 4. Apostle Paul was speaking about judgment. We should not judge anyone because we don't know the whole truth. Only God can judge us. Therefore, we should practice praising God for everyone, including those who do terrible things because knowing, believing that Jesus died on the cross for them. Also, let us praise God for the faith he has given us, that out of bad things, God will bring forth good things. Today, in the context of that judgment, Apostle Paul says, or let me read that verse 4, or do you show contempt for the richness of his kindness, tolerance, and patience, not realizing that God's kindness leads you towards repentance? God is kind. He is tolerant. He is patient. So when we realize that, his kindness, his patience, leads us to repentance, what we have done in the past, and thereby we will not repeat the mistakes of the past. Oh, sisters and brothers, let us greet one another and encourage one another to repent. How? Receiving the kindness, tolerance, faithfulness, goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> <clears throat> pardon me, of the Lord Jesus Christ. In all the religions I have studied, Christianity stands alone because Christianity teaches absolute forgiveness. It is forgiveness that gives us freedom from sin, free, freedom from punishment. Jesus died on the cross asking God to forgive those who are killing him. He taught us to forgive people. Not only forgive people, do good to those who do bad things. Now that is impossible for human beings to do. But with the power of Jesus Christ living in us, we can indeed do that. So sisters and brothers, throughout this day, let's reflect about, is there anyone we have not forgiven? Is there anyone we need to forgive? Have we forgiven ourselves? Let us go to Jesus with our concern for forgiveness and receive power from him, receive forgiveness from him so that we can indeed give forgiveness to everyone around, not only those who hurt us personally, but also those who hurt humanity. Forgive those who are killing innocent people in Aleppo and uh, in other parts of uh, Syria and Iraq and Afghanistan and Libya and, and Yemen and South Sudan and all other war-torn countries. Sisters and brothers, God will bring goodness, greatness, glory out of human cruelty, human intolerance, who, human pride and arrogance. Sisters and brothers, let's keep on depending on God. 
God's providence, God's tolerance, God's amazing love. And give that to everyone in our prayer, in our love, in our words, in our actions. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for forgiving us at the cross of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, enable us to experience your forgiveness, not only for ourselves, but all the people around the world, all the people who do cruel things. Precious Lord, enable us to believe that you will bring forth the goodness out of evil. You brought forth goodness out of your own death by resurrection. Precious Lord, continue to pour upon us your Holy Spirit that we may have the courage, the strength, the faith to forgive everyone and do good to those who do good, who do harm to us and others. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name, most powerful name, name above every name, name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.